to South Sudan. Local authorities in Tonga, a small but strategic town currently under the control of opposition groups, say they are happy about the calm that has returned. There has been no reported fighting since the signing of secession uh, of hostilities agreement between warring factions. Many civilians who had fled are returning home, but there is nothing to come back to. In the far north of South Sudan, along the west bank of the Nile River, is Tonga, a small but strategic town currently under the control of rebels. South Sudan's government and rebel groups signed a ceasefire in December, at the latest attempt to end a four-year civil war and allow humanitarian groups access to civilians caught in the fighting. Authorities in Tonga say the town has been calm since and many civilians who had fled are returning, but there is little to come back to. We are lacking so many things, especially when we talk about the humanitarian crisis here. Uh, we don't have uh, food items. There's no food for the civilian here. We are lacking uh, health service. Then education, education facility, we don't have it. We've seen we have the, the structure of the school, which are in place, but the lack of uh, teaching material. Uh, coming to the side of the hospital also, we have the hospital structure, but it's here we don't have uh, medicines and there's no doctors. Uh, here also we, we are next to the river, but uh, there's no clean drinking water in this area. Then hygienic also is a problem because uh, people have no latrines because of lack of tools. So this is the issue we are facing here. A decision by the Sudanese president to sack his deputy triggered war in the world's youngest country in 2013. Tens of thousands have died and a third of the population of 12 million displaced. There is hope that a second round of talks during the high-level revitalization forum in Addis Ababa will bring about lasting peace for the people of the country. Everybody in South Sudan, whether you're in Tonga or in Malakal or in the Equatorias, Everybody wants peace. And what we really need to see from the leaders and the armed groups that are there in Addis Ababa, our willingness to step over their red lines, to ignore their red lines and work together in the interests of the, of the country and not their own specific interests, either personal or um, the, uh, their party or their armed group. We must see that and if we don't see that then we will be back to where we are and the, the misery and the suffering will continue. We want to be able to give people in South Sudan some real hope that change is coming. The United Nations mission in South Sudan and other agencies were in Tonga recently to assess humanitarian needs. However, they face serious challenges given the town is essentially an island surrounded by water with only a few narrow roads bridging the town.